In this tutorial, we'll be looking at creating pop down menus and looking at cascading style sheets. Um, pop down menus are a very common um, element within websites. Um, what we're going to use, we're going to use um, a website called Dynamic Drive to create, um, well, not really to create our pop down menus, but to alter the ones that they give us. So they'll give us templates and we'll change them to suit our own needs. Um, there are lots of different options and there's lots of different modifications we can make to the actual code that they give us. So I'm going to just jump into, um, first of all, I'm going to have a look at Dynamic Drive. Dynamic Drive is um, a resource of different um, cascading style sheets. And as you can see here, what we'll be looking at mainly here is we'll be looking at drop down menus and pop down menus, horizontal and vertical. But you can also look at image optimizers, animated GIFs, email riddlers, uh, button makers. There's lots of different elements of behavior you can add to, um, to your website. Games, image effects, lots of different things. But we look at um, what we're going to focus on in this tutorial is really just the pop down menus. Um, everything else follows suit. So the same rules will apply to all the other elements. Just say you wanted to um, add a, a really cool dynamic uh, image effect to an image that you have that maybe when you mouse over it, it will flip over or will reveal something. You can get all of those in here as well. Okay, so we're going to jump out to uh, the website and we'll have a look at um, Dynamic Drive. So the actual website is called dynamicdrive.com. Okay, um, so we'll go in here. And as I said, there's lots of different elements that we can use in here, lots of different things we can play around with. But what we're interested really here in is, is, uh, is the actual, um, I'm going to go back one step here horizontal and vertical menus here. Okay, there's lots of other things you can use here, but this is really what we're interested in. Okay, now in here they give us nine pages of uh, about seven different, uh, seven different types of menus on each page. So it's about 63 or 64 different menus in here. So um, there's lots of choice and we can, we can choose what we want and then we can alter it to suit our own needs. So, in every case, if I go into a menu such as, let's say, you know, this one here, you know, this one says mobile full screen. So this is really created for a mobile device, but I'll just show you an example of what it does. So when I click on this, it'll bring me to a page which will show me exactly what it does um, and um, and how it works. OK, obviously, the links that it provides us with are not the ones that we're going to need, but we're going to be able to change. And I'll show you how you alter those very simply and how you you put, change the text and how you change the actual link. Okay, so in every case here, there'll be a little bit of instruction on what you need to do. So what I'm going to do is going to bring you through um, two or three of these and see see exactly exactly what needs to be done. And it's fairly straightforward and fairly uniform with what we need to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pick um, a couple of examples. Okay, there's lots of different ones here um, and they all work in different ways. So, for instance, if I went into flat flipping menu button, you'll see something like this and they all this is very cool for social channels. So adds interactivity to what we're trying to do, you know, so we can play around with different things. You can change, obviously, the icons, you can change the text uh, and of course you can change the link of each of them. So the one I'm, I'm going to look at first is uh, a responsive iconic menu. Now, this is a very common one. Um, probably the next two that we look at might be more common than this one, but this is a very common type of uh, of um, pop down menu. You see exactly what this means. It provides us with this. We see this quite often on mobile devices. When you click on it, you'll see a menu that pops out from it. And obviously, if I click on different links, it will bring me to different parts of it. Okay. So, in every case, when you go into a menu, it will show you a demo of it. So, it'll show you how it works. And then it will tell you what you need to do. And in most cases, you'll see. Um, well, in every case, you'll see the CSS up here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to copy that. And whatever is in the CSS, we place it into our header, OK, in our HTML. And I'll show you how that works as well, OK? Um, and then down below the HTML, you place that into your body of your text, OK? Now, in, in both of these cases, we're not placing it into, um, we're placing it into the code part of uh, expression, OK? That's very important that we remember that. But what I'm just going to do here is very, very simply 
um, have a look at these, okay? Now, I'm just gonna take this code first of all. I'm gonna just go in here. I'm gonna go select all. It'll take all of it. I'm gonna copy it, okay? So I'm gonna to go to expression now. So all I'm doing is copy and pasting this. I'm going to expression and I'm gonna paste it into a brand new page here, okay? So I'm going to just maximize my screen here so we can see what we're doing here. And what I'm doing here is I'm gonna focus on what's up here. That's why we spent the first class and a half or two classes dealing with a little bit of HTML. So the script that I take, the first part, the top part that I take from um, up here, that goes into my head in between up here on top, okay? It, where it says HTML right down to head, so it goes up there before you get into the body. So I'm just gonna place it just above the head here, and I'm just gonna paste it in there, okay? The second part, I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna just copy this. Now, if we look at this carefully, this should be um, familiar to us, okay? Because what we have here is UL and then list items, okay? So really what we have is a list, an unordered list, which we've looked at before. And each list item has a link in it with a word in it, okay? So we can see in this case here, the link says dynamicdrive.com, and then it says home. And then it says the second one here, it says the link, and then it says dhtml, which is dynamic HTML. And then the third one says the link and CSS library, okay? So the bit that's here, 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 right below that here, and finally in JavaScript here, all of those words down along here are what appears in your menu. So what the user sees. So at any stage I want to, I can change those. And I will be changing those to suit what words I want to appear in my menu, okay? On top of that, what appears in here is the link that when you click on home, it will bring you to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, I'm going to use an example that I've used previously um, in, I think it was tutorial seven. Um, I'm just gonna jump out here for a second. Tutorial, no, sorry, tutorial. Um, tutorial seven, yeah, it was tutorial seven, was it? Anyway, it was one of those tutorials where I looked at, I created, um, images that are her mouse over images and so on. So anyway, um, we're gonna go back to that, that example. And what we'll do is we just use that as an example in this particular example here. So um, what I'm gonna have a look at here is I'm going to have a look at, all I'm gonna do is copy this, but everything that's in here. So I'll go, go in here, control A, copy it. Now the difference between that and the previous one is when I play, paste this in, I must put it within the body, okay? So anywhere within the body, obviously I'm not in the body at the moment, so I'm gonna paste that in there. Okay, when I click on there, it looks like this, okay? Now, I'm just gonna save it. I'm gonna call it PHTML. I'm gonna preview it, okay? So in this case here, when I click on this, you can see that exactly the same as the demo uh, from the page I looked at earlier on, it appears exactly the same. When I click on home, it'll bring me to dynamic drive, because that's where the link's actually bring me there. So what I need to do now is I need to change these here to suit myself. I also need to change the links to suit myself, okay? Now, at this point, I just want to point out that at this point, there's one, two, three, four, five different items on my menu. It doesn't mean that I can only have five pages. I can have six, I can have four, I can have as many as I want, or as few as I want, okay? So what I'll show you how to do is I could just delete a uh, um a link in my pop or in my um in my list okay so i can just do that very simply within um here okay so I, at this stage i'm going to focus on the bit that i copied and pasted into the body i'm not going to fo focus at all on my what i pasted into my head okay so that's going to stay exactly the same so all i'm going to do here is i'm going to change these all right so if you remember the example that i used way back in i think tutorial seven or eight looked at these different items here, okay? I'm just gonna look at them again here. Index, products, services, about us, 
and contact us okay these were the different items that i used okay the different pages so i'm going to go to those pages and all i'm going to do here is i'm going to put in leave it on home for which will bring us to index then we go dhtml i'm going to go products services about us I'll save that moment now what should happen here when I save this is that my what appears on my menu will change but the links will still bring me to the dynamic drive I haven't changed that yet I'll do that in a second so when I click on this I can now see that yeah oh, I have a J in front of contact us so I'll get rid of that but home product services about us and contact us okay and again contact us with a capital U and a small s here so be uniform I'm going to change that to a capital U and a small s for about us as well so jump back in here Small s here. Rid of the J from in front of that. Save it and preview it. Okay. So again, now my menu is exactly as I want it to be. Okay. It looks exactly as I want it to be. It doesn't work yet properly because it, when I click on home, it still brings me to dynamic drive. Okay. So going back here, I'm going to change that now. Now in, in every case here, what I'm going to do is I'm saving this page. Make sure you save them all into the one folder, as I said before. If you do, the beauty of this means that we don't have to put in any kind of address besides just the name of the actual file. So I'm going to put in index.html. Okay. And then I'm going to put in products.html. Okay. And then I'm going to put in, instead of this one here, I'm going to put in services.html. And then finally, no, not finally. Contact us at HTML. And then finally, I skipped one. About us. Okay. Save it. Click on this one here. So now the beauty of this menu here, when I click on it here, is when I click on home, it brings me to my home page. When I click on the products, it brings me to my product page. When I clicked on services, it brings me there. And click on about us and bring me there and finally click on contact us and bring me there now once i've created my menu i can copy and paste it now remember when i copy and paste it into index and products and so on remember i have to copy both what's in the head what is what's in the body and what's in the head okay so very important that i copy both and i paste them in and i work away from there but that's my menu working okay now if i wanted to add another uh, item to this menu just say i wanted to add um all i need to do here is i need to take a line here and copy it and paste it okay so i'm going to take the last line here copy and paste now at the moment when i look at this i, I have two contact dosses on this okay and i do okay so i can change my last contact us to um to whatever I want to. So I'm going to change this to an example. I'm going to change it to index one. I think I have a page called index one in there. And I save it and refresh it. And this time when I click on this, you'll see that at the end, I've got example. When I click on example, it'll bring me to my uh, example that I dealt with in the previous tutorial on frames previous one one before that on frames okay so you can see that that will bring me to that page there so i can add any page i want i can add more to my menu i can if i want to get rid of something i literally just come along here and highlight the line that says li starts off with li and finishes with hashtag or forward slash li and delete it okay so that's one menu i'm going to create a couple more just to show you that they're exactly the same they're slight you might be asked to download a little bit more okay so i'm just going to have a look at at another example here um going back to dynamic drive and i'm going to go in here and i'm going to go on to page three this time and you can see there's lots of different ones here if i wanted to just say to roll over text you can see these ones here and you can see how they work so they'll do these kind of things here so it's a little bit more dynamic than than your normal simple menu there's some really cool ones there 
So what I have this time here is a drop down menu. This is a quite nice drop down menu. When I click on this, it'll drop down and it'll show me different items on it and so on. And then when I click on this, it'll show me a drop down and so on. So what this is, is two of these items have a drop down when you click on them and, and, and the third one doesn't. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this again. I'm going to go to uh, copy what's in my head. Okay? And I'm going to go to a brand new page, which I already have place that into just above my head here. And then what the important bit here is this also asks me to download a file. Now I'm going to download this file and um, save link as, and I'm going to save it into the same folder. It's really important I save it into the same folder, okay? So what this is a bit of CSS, so therefore when I move this particular web page or this particular part of the site, I have got to move the CSS file as well. That's why I keep saying put everything into the one folder. It's a lot easier to move the whole lot in the long run, okay? So I'm after downloading that into that folder there as well. And when I look, just to make sure, online I should have my CSS is there, okay, and it is. Um, so I've copied the first part here. I'm going to copy the second part here. Now, as you can see here, the second part, slightly longer, but I'm going to copy that and into my web page. Scroll down. Make sure you're putting this in the body. Now, it looks like this, okay? It looks like a list that I've created. Now, the beauty of this list is that that's, this is the way it looks like in HTML, but not the way it would look like because it, that's why the external file, the CSS file, doesn't take effect until we run it in the browser. But the beauty of this one would be, look, I can actually get in here if I want to. And, you know, I can say change this to any items that I want. Just say um, I want to change this to about us, okay? And then the JavaScript to... Um, products. Okay, and then the last one. Sorry, I'm going to change the top one to services actually. And then the last one here, I'm going to change this to about us. putting capital S in, sorry about this, but anyway, about, okay, and from this, if I want to add another one, I can just simply copy this and paste it down here, okay, and put in contact us. Okay. And if I want to put another one, just say, since I wanted to create something similar to the same menu I had before, I copied this and paste it up here. And home. Okay. Now, there's a lot more, as we can see here, if I save this and preview it. What I have here is this now. I know it's slightly different after I need to widen out my menu here. But anyway, you get the idea. So I need to widen out my menu, but it doesn't work until I put in my cascading style sheets and so on. OK, so I'm just going to go back here a couple of steps here. Go back to the previous. OK, so I've got about us. Now, I can change any of these as well. I can change any of these, okay, um, and play around with them. But really what I wanted to show you with this one was that it, it, it requires us to download a, another thing called a CSS file. Other ones will, will require us to send uh, to uh, download image files and so on. We might see that with a third example, okay? So in this case here, all I need to do is, again, change my link whatever I want my link to bring us to, about us. In my case, it'll be about us. So, you know, about us.html, okay? And I'm not going to do this for the whole app, but 
in this case here, all of these are pop down. So you can see this is actually a pop down from about us. So if I only had three items that I wanted to put in there, I would delete the other four and just say, I, I'm just going to change the text on this to show you just how simple it is. Okay. About us one. About us two. I'm not going to change the link, just the text. And about us. Three. So when I save and preview this, what I have here is this case here. When I click on about us, I should have about us one, two, and three down along here. Okay, which I do. Now all I need to do is change the link here to whatever I want them to bring us to as well. Okay. Now I don't have a page called about us one, two, and three, but if I did, that's what I would do here. The same with the next one down here, where I would turn around here and change products and change the link. In my case here, I have one called products. I'm going to change it to products html and and then i have you know four items below that and then the last one here would be about us we'll say instead of css i'm going to call it about us no contact us we'll say because i already have about us contact us and in here i'm going to put in contact us at html okay so around with these are very straightforward so you can see contact us if i click on that it should bring me to uh i put a space in it okay. um about us and bring me to that okay so i'm going to rectify the uh, contact us yeah i put a space in here as you can see here i don't have a, a contact us with a space in it i have contact us with no space in it so i'm going to get rid of the space here you can see contact us like that so now when i save that and preview it so it's the great thing about um, web development. If you see this is a problem, you go back and fix it. You know exactly where to look. Okay. So that's the second example there that I'm using um, with a pop down menu. And the third one is more traditional looking pop down menu. So we'll have a quick look at, at, uh, at that. I'm just going to jump to the web page again, dynamic HTML. And I'm going to go to this one's on page five, right at the very top. So again, this is a more traditional looking menu where you've got something like this. Now, you, there's loads of different menus in here with different colors on them. OK, and you can see this here and so on. So I'm not going to alter the menu because the exact same things I've done before with regards to altering the menu. I find my item, change the name of it, and then I change the link of it as well. So all I'm going to show you here and what's really important here is the fact that this one expects us to download four external files okay now it doesn't look like four when you look at this very quickly but there's a a, a j's queries slide menu dot css you got a jQueries slide menu dot js okay and uh, so there are two files i need to download so again save link as and save them into my folder which is online tutorial and you just save those two in there that's very straightforward then it's more difficult to see these, but there's two little images that it expects me to save as well, which is you'll see if I if I didn't save this, this little little uh, pyramid shape, uh, you know, triangular shape thing won't appear there. And more importantly, it won't appear here either or here over here as well. OK, so I'm going to, I have to right click those and download them, save image as. And again, I'm going to save it into that folder, which is in here. One is called down and the other one is called Right. OK, so remember, if we have a, a, a file already in there called uh, write.gif or down.gif, it will override those or over and save them over. So be very careful with your naming of these things. OK, anyway, all I'm going to do this time is again, since I've copied the external files and be careful to do that, because a lot of these won't work unless you copy them properly. Um, I'm going to go in and just again, I've got JavaScript and CSS, which goes into my head. OK. So I'm going to go onto a brand new page in expression. Paste that in there. Then jump back into my web page and go down here to my HTML, copy that and make sure to paste that into my body part of my um, code screen. OK. Now, I'm not going to bother changing any of the, the HTML or the links, but you can see these. 
you can see exactly if I want to change item one, I change it here. If I want to change the link, I change it there. So they work exactly the same as the previous two examples. I'm just going to save this. And then and preview it okay so again this one will work exactly the same as before all right my links obviously i need to change my names and my links and i can get rid of sub menus if i want to by just deleting that particular part of it if i don't need it okay so that really concludes our uh, look at pop down menus and cascading style sheets okay cascading style sheets is really what we're after copying and pasting into the into the head okay up here with the style sheet up on top okay um, and then obviously, in order for me to really get into the nitty gritty and make the code my own, I've got to get into the body and change it. All of these ones in the body, they will appear as, um, as bullet points, unordered lists like we looked at before. Okay. Um, and even we did an example in class of a, an unordered list inside an unordered list okay so that's exactly the same as we did in class okay so again it's just changing changing what appears in here and what appears in here for the link okay so